Love. What up, guys? This is Cheatboat Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Mighty Aphid. This game was published by Chili Dog Interactive and it was developed by Cascadia Games. It released on June 25th, 2021. It's a run and gun game. And ultimately, it only takes about 30 minutes to complete the game, at least if you know the god mode cheat. Those that are familiar with Chili Dog Interactive, formerly known as Victory Road, know that typically these games include a cheat code to make the completion or platinum trophy much easier. So real quick, I'll go ahead and summarize the completion for you. We're going to have six different levels, a boss battle at the end of each level. As I mentioned before, we do have a cheat code to give us god mode, which is going to make it really easy to be able to progress through the level. You just have to know where to go. Other than that, the game is only $4.99. And as I mentioned before, it's only going to take about 30 minutes or so to complete the game with the god mode cheat. So you want to press up, up, down, down, up, up, right, left, left, right, X. If you're playing on PlayStation, you're going to press square rather than X. Again, that's up, up, down, down, up, up, right, left, left, right, X, or on PlayStation, square. After that, we can enable the god mode cheat, and those that are familiar with god mode, basically, you can't take any damage. Now, you can't necessarily rush to the exit of the level, because to complete a level, you actually have to rescue all of the uh, innocent people, citizens, whatever you want to call them. Some of them are these guys that have these aliens attached to their arm, they're running around back and forth. Sometimes you'll have to save those guys, like this guy right here. You can see how many survivors you have left on the upper right hand corner. At this point I've saved all of the dudes and I just have a few women to save as well. The level has four women to save and three dudes to save. Um, I found that typically the women are located in windows so just make sure to check the buildings. Other than that you can save the women by clearing out all of the enemies in their area and then you'll get a green check mark for that survivor. The dudes, um, again, have like aliens attached to their arms and you'll need to shoot them to release the uh, alien off of their arm. And again, we have another woman up here in the tower. We're going to clear all of the enemies. And there we go, we got a green check mark for her as well. So just follow along where I'm going and you're going to make sure to basically save all of the survivors um, in each of the levels. This is going to make it much faster in terms of getting it completed in 30 minutes because if you don't know where all of the survivors at this is probably more likely like a one hour completion if you're kind of just winging it without a guide but hopefully you can just play my guide on your phone or something like that and follow along and you know um, if anything you can go into the YouTube settings and play it at a slower speed if maybe I'm going a little too fast but yeah this video will show you where all of the survivors are located and as long as you know where all of the survivors are and you know where the exit is for the level, you can get this completed in about 30 minutes as long as you have that god mode cheat code. This game would be a much harder completion or platinum trophy if it weren't for that cheat code. Personally, I ended up completing it in about an hour, but that's because I didn't know where any of the survivors are located. But once I edited down my footage and basically showing you guys exactly everything that you need to know and nothing more, it cuts down to about a 29 minute video walkthrough however about a minute maybe a minute and a half for that is the intro breakdown and then you know the intro and outro of the video so it really only takes about 28 minutes to complete the game and get all of the achievements or trophies as long as you know where those survivors are at the boss battles are extremely easy because you can't take any damage with god mode activated so again this game is a breeze as long as you know where those survivors and exits are located so yeah, here's another game I highly recommend for Achievement Hunters because ultimately it's a pretty cool game. It's only $5 and on top of that, it's an easy 30 minute completion or platinum trophy because we have a cheat code. Now, we're already about four minutes in and I just completed the first level, defeated the first boss and I got the Panzer Achievement or 35 Gamer Score for defeating the boss of level one. We're going to have to rinse and repeat this process through all six levels after we complete the sixth level, we'll complete the game, and we should have all of the achievements and trophies unlocked. And it really is that simple, guys, because all of these achievements and trophies are related to level progression, so all you have to do is proceed through the game and end up completing it, and you'll have all of them, you know, unlocked. 
other than that um, it's pretty much that simple guys so i'm not going to be commentating through this whole video as no more commentary is needed at this point you guys should have all of the info you need to get yourself that 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy and if you haven't picked up the game yet i'll make sure to leave a link down in the description below typically these are affiliate links so i appreciate if you guys use my affiliate links to purchase the games as i get a small percentage about 3% or something like that of the sell. It depends on the game. Every penny adds up in terms of supporting the channel, so I do appreciate you guys using the affiliate links. Other than that, as always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe.
All right, guys, we just completed the sixth level. However, we still need to defeat the sixth boss. We're about to do that right here. And after defeating the sixth boss, we should have all of the achievements and trophies unlocked. This one's super easy to defeat. All you have to do is just continue shooting it. Luckily, we don't take any damage because of that god mode cheat, making all of the boss battles super easy in terms of defeating them. Because again, we don't take any damage. We should be defeating him any second now. And then after that, we're going to unlock our final achievement for completing the sixth boss. Or defeating the sixth boss, sorry. There we go. And just like that, we completed the game. But, you know, with god mode activated, we just unlocked that final achievement worth another 100 gamer score, giving us that full 1000G, or if you're playing on PlayStation, a platinum trophy.